Hello friends, today I will show you how to refurbish your broken USB cable which is a common problem these days. I am repairing type A to micro B USB connector. Now I am testing the cable to find out which part of the wire is broken. So let us check. Generally these wires get damaged at the end of either side so the screen turns on it means we got the broken part let's start USB cable repairing take a sharp blade and cut it from the side as in the video but do it very carefully you need to be very careful while you are performing this I have fast forwarded the video but I am also doing it very carefully and very slowly because it may damage my hand So I am trying to take out that metallic part uh, where uh, the wire is getting connected. So few more cuts to take it out. Okay. Okay. You can see this. This is the metallic part and. Uh, behind that metallic part you can see the white plastic coverage that white plastic coverage is uh, the part where the wire is, wires are connected to the pins of USB you can see there are four wires and the outer two wires is of uh, plus 5 volt and uh, minus 5 volt and the middle two wire is of plus data and minus data and the main thing is that you need to remember uh, which colored wire is connected to which particular pin don't crisscross the connection of wires so I am removing the broken part I assume that uh, the first three inches of wire may be broken so I have uh, removed it on assumption so I am taking out four wires I need to desolder these wire from the USB pins there are some rubber type element I need to remove that out So desoldering the wires of uh, USB. You need to pull out the wire very gently because if you will pull it very forcefully it may damage the uh, metallic pins because those pins are very thin. So take out uh, the four wires one by one. Okay. Now the third wire. this black part I need to remove it that's type of rubber 
rubber or some other thing so now it is cleared I think so I am leaving this wire for the time being I am keeping this wire as sample so that I didn't get forgot where the white wire should be placed and uh, after that I will place the other wires accordingly I am applying the soldering elements on each pins. It will help me to solder the wire easily. So now I am arranging the wire so that I can solder it out in correct order. These wires are very delicate and <laughs> can be notched by my nails only. Okay. Now let's take out the white wire and okay it's done so now I remember each and every pin from which particular pin the particular colored wire is connected this one is the red wire I am pre-applying the soldering element on it so that it can be soldered easily on every wire I am applying the soldering element and please remember don't apply too much of soldering element it will bridge the connection between pins so red wire is connected now the white wire and this is the green wire that's the minus data pin the green wire and the white wire is plus data and the red wire is uh, plus 5 volt here's some more soldering element applied okay it's it's done I think okay now the last wire that's the black wire means uh, coming from the left hand side uh, first is red then white then green then black now let us check it whether it is working or not I'm testing it So I have plugged it into the USB powered charger and just plugging into the mobile. Okay, the screen turned on and you can see charging. Currently it is having 67% charge. This is the cable, soldered cable which we have done previously and it's working fine okay now we will take out the USB and bind up the USB let's check once again okay it got plugged in okay now you can see charging so no other damage are there it is working fine we have removed the broken part of the wire from the damaged USB okay now close the small plastic package and now uh, I will place it back inside that black rubber packaging to secure it properly just I am carving out the extra rubber so that I can make a place for the wire it okay you can see 
now we got a perfect place for the wire which should come in this place only need to remove some extra rubber okay it's done a few more are there Okay, now trying to place it. Push, push the wire and the metallic part. Now press it tightly. You can see. Now we need to join and stick the mouth so precisely that no one can able to understand whether this USB cable is repaired unless they take a look at wire very carefully. So we will use some strong adhesive to uh, stick or join the mouth. I'm using Fabiquick which is one of the strong adhesive. You need to press it so hard that both the side come in contact with each other and you need to keep it near about 45 to 60 seconds so that it get joined properly. But one thing you need to remember do not do this with bare hands. Wear some gloves and be safe because accidentally the adhesive may stuck to your hands and I am telling you it's really hard to get rid of this adhes adhesive so be very careful while performing this step so now you can see it get dried up and you will never know that this USB drive, USB cable is repaired unless or until you will look this part very carefully. So now time to test it. The final test. Plugging it into the USB power charger and switching it on okay you can see the screen turns on and you can see the charging it's 61 percent and it's charging so the USB cable is working and you can see it is joined very properly let's test once again switched on you can see it's charging properly okay thank you for watching video please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you very much